Hello everybody, how are we all doing? It's been a few weeks, uh, work, personal, everything, it's just been insane. I haven't had a chance to do anything. So, today I want to do something a little bit different. I want food now. Like, faster even than I normally want my food. And the good thing is, though, I want Mexican. Now, yeah, you can grab a box of old El Paso and fry up some ground meat and stuff, but that's okay. But it's not what I want. I want enchiladas. I want taquitos. I want all that gorgeous stuff. I want it smothered in sauce, cheese, baked. Mmm. Yum. But I don't want to take the time to start... Making meat, making beans, assembling burritos, or assembling enchiladas, and doing all that work when I want to eat, like, right now. So, as you know on the market, there are tons of different frozen burritos. There's beef, beef and bean, bean, bean and cheese, you name it. There's all kinds of vegetarian ones out there, so choose one that you really like. I'm going with ones that I've had before that are okay. I'm hoping that doing it this way will make me even that much better. So, let's step into the kitchen. Let's do something super quick, really easy, really yummy, and exactly what I want to eat right now. Let's go to the kitchen, and we'll see you there. everyone sorry you got a little wet there welcome back so we are going to do this real easy like i said we're taking some prepared stuff putting it together in a different way from how they normally do it and making our own little mexican dinner so to start off with we have some taquitos these are just corn tortillas that they've rolled around some spicy beef and some cheese. And we have those frozen burritos. We've all seen these. Three o'clock in the morning, you hit the 7-Eleven, they're there. A minute in the microwave. But we're going to cook this in the oven. So, next to this, we're going to take just some enchilada sauce. Well, let's give this a shake first. Go, and we're just gonna pour over all of this good stuff. There we go. This, of course, is totally optional, but some jalapenos. Should be using a fork to take these out, but. Like I said, this is the, I want my food now. So everything is being done quick and, quick and easy. And next, I got my rag. It's just some really quick, my least favorite thing in the world, but pre-shredded cheese. That's just gonna go on top of all of that. So we have our own Mexican dinner number two, or whatever number it is at your local place. Literally prepared in what? Two minutes? Three minutes? This, we're just going to give this a shake, make sure nothing's sticking. There we go. This is now going to go into a 350 oven for about half an hour, 45 minutes. And then it's time to eat. Told you we can't get much simpler or easier. Let's get this in the oven and we'll see you when all this comes back. Comes out. Hello everyone, we are back. It's been 30 minutes these have been in the oven. Now, the cooking time might take a little bit longer, a little bit less, depending on 
the products you're using and also if they are thawed or frozen. Mine were frozen rock solid, so they probably took a bit longer than if they'd been thawed. Well, definitely they took longer. So there we go. We have our, let's try it this way. There we go. We have our taquitos and we have our burritos. Now, you know me, but I have to taste this right away. What you can't see is the amount of steam coming off of these. So, oh. <laughs> whoops. So, this is going to be super hot. But already I can feel that tortilla is nice and crispy. So much better than when you do them in the microwave. <laughs> um, and those taquitos, I can smell them. I can smell that corn tortilla that they're in. These are in the flour tortillas. Mm. The cheese, the enchilada sauce. I had one of the jalapenos there. They're spicy. <laughs> And most of the time, the pickled ones aren't that hot for me. But yeah, you can see just how hot that is. The filling in there, these are, like I say, the ones I got are beef and bean. And they're... I've had these ones before where I have done them. In, well, I've done them in the air fryer to get them crispy. They were okay. But with the sauce and that extra cheese on there, they're really nice. Mmm. I actually went in to go take a big bite, and then I remembered how hot these were. But really, really good. Great way to satisfy a quick urge. If you want, of course, top them with sour cream, guacamole. Put your salad, your shredded lettuce, your onion, your tomato on there. Go ahead, do all that. Cook some Mexican rice to go along with this. The world is your oyster. This is a great lunch for me, but this could be a really, really nice dinner. And well, you saw how fast it all went together. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. The beans, they're, they're, they're like lava. They're so hot. But wow, really, really good. I gotta go in for one of those taquitos. I love these on their own. Cook them up in the air fryer. Dip them in some queso. This is nice and cheesy, extra crispy. Mmm. Like the taquitos are really good by themselves, but with that sauce on there, yum. Mmm. So hot though. So there we go. Under 10 minutes. From when I decided I wanted this to when it was in the stove. It took longer to cook than it did to prep. And it's going to take me no time at all to finish all this. So I'm going to go eat. Thank you for coming by the kitchen. It's been great seeing you all again. Like I said, it has been a couple of weeks. But hopefully now we'll get more to back on schedule. If you're new to the channel, well, thank you for coming on by. We do videos like this all the time, normally one or two a week, but sometimes we might skip a week. If you're coming back, well, thank you. Great seeing you again. If you like this video, please leave a comment down below. Remember to hit that thumbs up. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and it shows YouTube you guys like the videos I'm doing. So until next time. My name is Andrew. I am the 5 p.m. chef. Thank you for stopping by my kitchen. I will see you all again next time.